Hello again, the same old project. Today I'm going to try to answer different questions addressed by the same old story, helium mining. Okay? First, people ask if we can use a splitter, a splitter like this, for connecting two antennas to the same miner. You know, guys, uh, by the book, to have two antennas working in tandem, you know, working together, it's supposed to be a really phased, you know, like here, it's supposed to be really in phase. Both of these, both of these antenna, they should work together, you know, so the signal should apply one to another and effectively double the, the capacity, the energy of the incoming signal. Well, to do that, it's, it's crazy hard in uh, amateur uh, environment because you need a special area of antenna. So if you can use a splitter to zoom two antennas, you know, by the book, no. But practically, you can give a try. I don't recommend it, of course, because it's going to be a lot of work and a lot of disappointing uh, results. But, well, it's up to you. Okay. That's for having two antenna at, at minor input. Also, the same old story with the AB amplifiers. It's almost classic now. Most of the people complaining about not having a TX with the AB amplifier. Well, guys, AB amplifier and any other amplifier needs input signal from the miner to have the switch to TX. So as long as you have a, a configuration like, uh, let's talk from the antenna, antenna, uh, cavity filter, uh, bias T, oh, I'm sorry, amplifier, then a bias T, then a splitter, then a, a couple of uh, attenuators, and finally the miners. Well, I may say, if you use minor, attenuator, splitter, and then the amplifier, the signal from the minor in TX mode will be not enough to trigger the amplifier for TXing. So be sure you have at least, I think this one needs at least 2 dB to make the switch to TX. Consider if you have all these guys, it will be not enough signal to switch the amplifier on TX. Okay? Then, some other question. <laughs> the same old story, to filter or not to filter. You know, guys, this is a saw filter. It have a typically minus 2, minus 2.2 dB loose. Let me tell you once again what the filter is doing, you know. Let's think about uh, the radio waves like uh, night in the woods. You see, you see, you can see something, but not exactly the whole uh, thing because, you know, you are in the dark somehow. And suddenly you light your flashlight. You can have a huge circle of uh, light. But then if you adjust the flashlight to a certain point, you're going to have a straight piece or line of light to a certain point. This is exactly what this guy is doing. It's somehow it's taking from the whole radio spectrum. It's taking just a little slice, you know, it's cutting a slice around uh, in uh, in Europe around 868 megahertz or uh, US uh, uh, 950 megahertz and this piece of radio waves it's exactly what the miners need so don't take it like a lose of 2.4 dB because the general aspect of the thing is getting much much better the miner is focusing straight to the right frequencies, no more uh, noise around the area to cover the signal, to, you know, muddy the signal. And uh, from my point of view, a filter, it's the first thing you should do 
after you are certain sure that you have a good antenna and a good cable. Of course, a cavity filter will be the best, but it's expensive. So a solar filter like this is cheap. You can buy it almost for nothing. And uh, here we are with some uh, proofs about that. You see this guy, Foley, he's, he's from Germany, Chris from Germany, and he said, uh, about a filter installed, you know, filter, f one of my filters installed. And he said, I have overnight a better broadcast and two more witnesses. Just overnight. Okay. One of the new miner is 41 kilometers away. My father's connection on seven kilometers before I used the filter. The S and R, the ratio, the noise ratio, it's also much better than before. Definitively my best helium investment. Very glad. Okay. You see, this is just one of the feedback I have for this question, and not the only one. I can see the helium now, it's moving a little bit, you know. Uh, the things are, you know, slowly mm, running, let's call it. It's hard for me to think that the helium project, it's over. No, I'm still working on it and uh, still trying to have better results. Once again, a filter, it's a need. And by the way, so let's take a look at some of the signals I got in the last uh, weeks. Of course, it's the same, the same uh, setup under the roof, a 8 dB rack antenna, a cell wave filter, then a new ELEC uh, LANA amplifier, and of course my old Heltec miner. All right, so uh, here's gingerbread, 2.5 kil kilometers away. As you can see today, minus 87, plus 4.8. This guy, it's one of the oldest, oldest one uh, since 12th of March, active since 12th of March. And I have reception with different configurations. It's looking like uh, the best is this one, the latest one with uh, new elec and uh, a saw filter. Here I have another with one of my amplifiers with the filter included, the ZPF amplifier. Yeah, so what can I say? I have a beacon per week or something from this guy. Pine links, this is a new block. That's a new kid on the block. I can say anything for now. 14 kilometers with 91, it's perfect. A new one again, invalid. But this is fun, it's 15 kilometers away and I have an invalid 15 kilometers away. Oh, come on. This, this guy should be here somewhere around. Turquoise Bobcat, also an old friend from March. Look at the numbers. Somehow I have better numbers with my amplifier, CPF with filter on, then uh, filter at AB A68. But uh, with Lana now in the latest configuration, it's a very steady and uh, good signal. Of course, it's very close. Clear Tiger, only invalids. And look at him. They changed the, um, they changed the um, distance or something anyway. Because now it's looking like it's much, much closer. 1.6 kilometers now. Yeah, they changed the change. They changed it here somewhere in, uh, in April when it starts having invalids. Okay. That's a new one. Lots of new hotspots. So that means people are still believing in this project. So far, ZPF, it's looking better than uh, uh, Nuelec, 
with this guy. Here it's, of course, it's, it's okay. Better than everything. Same story here. 122, you see, it's, it's a really good improvement having this amplifier on. Okay. Well, there are so many new ones, like I said, you know, and I'm really happy people don't give up uh, the project. So, uh, answered some of your question. Don't hesitate to comment. Please like, please uh, subscribe. And uh, of course, don't forget, have some fun. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye.